Thank you. Huh. Yeah, I didn't hear anything about that, Jim. This is a request for qualification, yeah. so this is for us to try and find qualified so, companies. Yeah, right. So we don't have to do all the work. Oh, I thought you needed some companies that you can get it from. Oh, I do. Close enough. We're live. Whenever you're ready, Carrie. Got that thing to work? Handy. All right, go ahead and call the meeting to order at 6.30. We have minutes from May 11th. Is there a May motion? May 11th? Last week? Yes, last week was the 18th. 18th. Did I did not change the date on that? You didn't. Thank you. Hang on, let's just make sure that they are. Oh, yes, because last week was the public ordinance. Yep. Make so, a motion to approve those. With Second. correction of the date. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? None. I'm over here like, I don't even know what day it is. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, James. A um, couple of things in the. There was no finance folder, huh? Nothing from? Um, yep, I thought there was. There was one in there. Is that? It must have got left behind. I didn't notice that when I was looking through it the first time. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Did everybody read that? The tax deed stuff. Tax warrant. Or the tax right, warrant. Yeah. 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 It's intense. I look through the book frequently. Just kind of flip through the that. Report, you mean? Just kind of see where our values are changing. Sorry about that, Carrie. Yeah. yeah. I didn't look on the desk. Well, since we went through all that trouble, we'll do this first. Oh, with finance? Yeah, let's do the finance first. Oh, there's a, there's a bunch. All right. We have a deed without covenants. This was paid in full, map 8, lot 119, subdivision 49. It was paid in cash. Looks like we just need a motion to approve and accept Correct. the funds. I'll make a motion to approve and accept those funds. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? None, motion carries. Oh, I see. Um, we have a request for transfer from the highway department from landfill to the highway for their winter maintenance, other special projects, total $9,414. Make a motion to approve that transfer. What was that? I, I it was a transfer from landfill to the highway, $9,414. I'll second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? None. Motion carries. This is a request to um, 
issue or reimburse the payroll for the ambulance personnel from the ambulance billing account for April and May of 2022 in the amount of $24,293.04. Right, that a motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? None. <coughs> motion carries. Can you throw the date on there for me, please? That's just the one random. The 18th or the 25th. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a request um, from a withdrawal of funds from the Evergreen Expendable Care Fund in the amount of $179.25 to Catherine's Florist. Make a motion to approve that. I'll second. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. None. Motion carries. <coughs> this is an amount for a withdrawal of funds from the cemetery general maintenance um, in the amount of seven hundred and seventy three dollars and forty two cents. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? None. Motion carries. Almost there. What's in? I said we're almost there. All right. This is an estimate for work to be done up at the uh, cemetery, J. Roy excavating in the amount of twenty-four thousand six hundred and seventy-two dollars to edge and remove all the grass along section I, um, that which are some of the most traveled parts of the road within the Evergreen Cemetery. Um, then they're going to rough grade, compact, um, and do some gravel and grading along in that section as well. So this is just an estimate, correct? Or has, or this has already been expended and we're being asked to withdraw it? It's a quote. It's a quote. The, on all the way back to the the only one quote. Don't we have to have three quotes if yes. it's over? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that Bob. Yeah. So did it, it went out? This is something that I put together for the Marvel Mm-hmm. And then we found out we had sufficient funds in the Just Fund to do it. So I was going to do a withdrawal request for the Marvel Fund for that. Yep. Um. Well, you can withdraw. You can withdraw your request. You still need three quotes. Yeah. But but I think the second part to that was you, you couldn't secure additional quotes. The other other companies wouldn't quote it. No one got back to me. Okay. Had that problem a lot. Um. Well, I I mean I'd like to at least try again and get at least one more quote. Is that in here too? Yeah. There you go. There's actually, there's three requests in here for the for work up at the cemetery. One is for the um, edging and removal of the grass, the gravel that we just discussed. The next is for the mausoleum and the final one is for um, some fence to start being replaced. It looks like you're going for the, the front first um, and this is all going to be coming out of your trust yep cemetery general maintenance fund general maintenance and the expendable general care trust um, and I did see I think Amy also included where that gets listed down here on our charter trust list um, so you motion. requested, I'm sorry? I'll make a motion to approve those. Without, without more bid? I mean, on the fence and the, the, the other one she's taken out of the uh, trust fund, right? Right, so the um, two are from the general maintenance and one is from the expendable um, general all care trust. trust. But all from, yes, but all from trust fund. Thank you. You, you, you want to? 
Yes. You want to hold off on that until you. There were two bids on the mausoleum. I think maybe we should let's handle them all separately just so because it looks like there's so the first one was for the road maintenance. There was only one bid that came in. Um, what were some of the other? Do you remember some of the other companies that you reached out to? Okay. Yeah, let's hold that one just be, to see if um, I'll give it one more try, and if that's the only. But I, I think if that's the only bid that came in and that was viable by next week, we should make the move to to move forward. If nothing else happens within the week. Um, we're running into similar problems with all of our projects. So this one from the Nadnock Fence. Who did you guys? This was the oh, I'm sorry, 20,917. But you guys got a you guys got a bid from Cheshire Fence. That's who's going to do your fencing up there, right? Along the edge of the a athletic fields. Um, Cheshire out of Marlboro. I think it is Cheshire out of Marlboro, but our fence is, yeah. it's different. It's a, just a, it's like a yeah. split rail. Split rail. It's very. What's that fencing place down on 63 in Northfield, Dale? Does that, they still do anything? You know where I mean? Just down by uh, Browning's garage there. Chan, you were going to make a motion for the fence and the mausoleum? The mausoleum had... I thought we decided on the mausoleum that it didn't belong to the town. We had that discussion, did we? We did have the discussion that it was a sticky situation as to how we were going to handle the fact that there's no one there to take care of it and the building could collapse anyway. Um, can I have a little clarity? I mean, these are these are trust funds that the you know the, the cemetery board of trustees also have some you know responsibility of some oversight. So I'm assuming that this has been before your board and these are approvals that have come from them as well to move forward with these bids to move forward with these yeah i mean i i feel like there's a check and balance there and, and the cemetery is saying we'd like to move forward um i think you know if we want to get see if we could get one more quote on the excavating um there were two quotes already on the mausoleum and there just might not be any more game for the fence so uh, Chan, if, if you'd like to make a motion, I would certainly second. What were the bids on the mausoleum? The mausoleum was for Perry Masonry. The final bid uh, was the 31,460. There was a second one in there. I don't. I don't. Do it. 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 Do
Dispose move them, and move bury them. them, or any of those things. So one way or another, we're going to have to, we have to deal with it. Um, Sherry, can you, Sherry, excuse me, I'm sorry, can you please go up to the mic? Sure. Thank you. Thanks, Mayor. At the time that they built the mausoleum, they did have a trust fund, but it's, after that many years, it's yeah. been used. So I would discourage, as the sexton, I would discourage anyone from building a mausoleum in the future. It's highly unlikely that anyone would want to, but I still would discourage it, just for this purpose only, that yeah. it makes it very difficult many years. People don't think that far down the road. Yeah. And it is an, it is an aesthetic to the, the cemetery as a whole as well, which maybe is part of the reasoning behind just. It's our only mausoleum. Yeah. Um, it has very high profile in the cemetery. And that family is the same family that donated the land in front of the cemetery to the town. Mm. I would like to take the motions, each one of them separate. Okay. Uh, well, I then. Um... And find out exactly, because I got the trust fund balances right now and which one is coming out of which trust fund. Sure, so uh, let's go ahead. Is there a motion for the, um, the mausoleum? This is Perry Masonry LLC in the amount of 31,460. I'd make a motion. I'll second for discussion. I think that we've probably discussed that one at nauseum. So unless That's there's any, the driveway. <laughs> anything new to add, I'll go ahead and call the vote. Okay, uh, I have something to add. Go ahead. Where's the 31,000? Uh, trust? It is coming out of the Cemetery Expendable General Care. Which has $63,268 in it right now. Yep. So you're going to take almost half. That's what they're saying. And actually, I think, um, I think Amy already did the, the math down there as well. So what would be left in that fund, if I'm reading Amy math correctly is about would be about 28,381 because it looks like they're going to also move forward with potentially getting a tractor in the future because that's been worked into some of this math as well. That's going to drain that one. Mike uh, Coop has something to add. Is on the tractor. Yeah, yes. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, with respect to the Evergreen Perpetual um, Care Fund, uh, there's approximately $18,000 that is about to be moved into that account also. That uh, fund is specifically for the 432 um, trusts that were combined via CPRE petition back in 98, 97, 98, following a court order. So uh, that money, the excess of $7,000 by court order, can be moved into the expendable care fund. And we have it set up to be moved quarterly, so we're looking at about an additional flow of $18,000 from the perpetual into the expendable care fund. So after this $31,000, we are going to be adding eighteen. Yes. yes. Thank you. And okay. with respect to the... Not it is, it I is. The M, I got the MS9 in front of me for June of 30th of 2022. Go ahead, Mike. I'm sorry. The um, tractor that comes into play here, um, since it will be used for all cemeteries, monies coming from the expendable can only be one tenth of the cost of the tractor because we have 10 cemeteries and we want to apportion those funds specifically to gotcha. the value of Evergreen. Okay, so the bottom line is Evergreen really benefits here. Yep. But uh, we can only apportion one-tenth of the total cost of that out of that fund, and the balance would come out of the, the general cemetery maintenance fund. Which has the current balance of 128658 yes. in it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, was there anything additional, Teresa? 
Um, there's been a motion and second to for the uh, Evergreen Cemetery to move forward with replacing the mausoleum, Perry Masonry, in the amount of 31,460. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. No. I think that was three. Motion carries three, two. All right. Uh, the next one was the Monadnock Fence Company in the amount of $20,917.56. This is to replace the front section that's all along Richmond Road and Route 119. It's um, 488 feet of a polyvinyl. This would come from the Cemetery General Maintenance Fund, and in that fund is the is the 128,658. Motion to approve. Second. Is there I'm sorry, any? can you just repeat that number? The total amount was 20,917,56. I don't, I don't agree with it for, for the simple fact that there's only one bid, but if that's all she could get, I mean, that's all we, we gotta, I guess we, in the future, we need to find another fencing company somewhere that will but it's just my thought. I'm going to vote for it, but I, I just. Can it, I just it, do math in my head real quick? Or in the calculator, actually? Give me a second. Yes. Well, Amy did do a bunch of the math on the back of the sheet as well, if you were looking for something like that. No, no, that's okay. not the math I'm looking for. Carrie. Do you have like um, regular interaction with other um, town managers in the area? Do you folks have a, you know like an like an email group or something? Nothing yeah. like that. I no. just didn't know if there was uh, you know like through the municipality association if there was a way to reach out to some other communities and say, hey, we're having an issue with this particular bid. Are you folks doing anything? We kind of do something like that from a from a, a district, like a school district, so I yeah. didn't know if something was capable on the municipality I mean, I side. I mean, I have a group of people that I would reach out to with any kind of questions. Questions, along the way. yeah, yeah. I can propose. You know, like that all the question. districts went in on the bus bid. Is there a way yeah. for us to join yeah. forces for some of the bigger yeah. jobs? Even are you ready, Nat? Twelve dollars. All right. So I just some math real quick. Um, at 20,917 for 488 feet, it came to about 40 some odd dollars a foot. Um, the typical price right now runs between about 76 to 80 dollars between uh, for six feet of vinyl fence. So um, we would be paying the labor cost is really high on that quote, if you ask me. Um, so I would agree with James in hoping that we could get another bid. I know it's, it's hard that we, we don't have it, but maybe putting it out there um, a little more, because that, that's a really high labor cost. Uh, the motion was made in second. Would we like to withdraw the motion and provide an opportunity for? No. Thank you. Um, or thank you for being clear. So the motion was made and seconded. And um, any additional discussion? No, no, and I just to, on Natalie. Uh, I agree with that, but for now, I think for this one, we'll do it. But in the future, we just we need to try and find it, see if we can find another vendor. Advertisement on the papers for bids or something. Yeah, um, Sherry, I was just wondering, um, or quite general question, I guess. When our departments are looking for stuff to bid on, does the town also send them out? No. Okay. The department has. Depart they go out and they get the information. Is there any like way to work together to try and get more bids? Because I mean, when somebody's looking from the town of Winchester for the bid versus. We don't, we don't advertise for bids. We call all the companies. They give us a quote. That's our bid. I got a question for you, Sherry. Sure. So like, if we have an ad knock fence come do this 480 feet, say yes. next year you want to do a section up. Yes. Can we use another vendor? Is, 
matching you know, the fence. Yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. There's concern about that. Because then the problem is if an ad knock fence knows they have us right by the you know what. Yeah. We, I, I know what you're saying. Um, if it makes anyone feel any better, we, we realize that fencing is very expensive, period. And we did do the math. We put together a materials list and looked at what it would cost per section and then compared it to the vinyl. And it's way closer than you would think it would be um, for the wood. Wood versus vinyl, yeah. 488, it would be 18,000 and change. So it's not that far off, no, unfortunately. I agree with that. And the benefit is that we don't have time to do the labor to make the fence and put it up. We can get a little bit done, but we certainly can't do big lengths. And this does include the labor, and it also um, ha comes with a 20-year warranty with a 40-year life expectancy minimum. So way more than the wood. All way right, better. let's vote on it. You're not far off, Sherry, because it cost me $10,000 for mine down there. It's only half as long. I'm a penny pincher, so, <laughs> so I really do look for the best yeah. deal I can get, and I do compare costs. I don't want to waste money. Sorry, sorry. Can you just repeat? You said 20-year warranty. And a 20-year warranty. Yes. 40. She said. I thought you said. 40. It's a 20-year warranty and a 40-year life oh, expectancy. 40, okay. Thank you. Sure. All right. Yeah, we'll call the vote. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Non motion carried. Um, do we have a general consensus that we'd like to see if there's one more um, bid out there for the excavating, or is there a motion to move forward with the removing all the grass along the uh, section I to behind the building and doing the gravel grade? I'd like to see at least one more quote on that one, but that's just, if not, a couple. I mean, for the sake of not getting other quotes, I think at this point, I think Sherry's done her due diligence and we should just pass it. So I would make a motion to approve them. There's a motion to approve, and Teresa, it would come out of the general maintenance fund again, that 128658. Would you okay with that, Teresa? I'll Did second. Have, I'm she had some questions. How much is it for again? 24,672. General. This was all the stuff that you asked for the, for the APA fund, and now you just taking it out of the trust fund. Correct. Yeah, it seems only fair that if we have money available to us, that the art funds get used for other departments that don't have our resources. Yeah, but we gave you some APA fund. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We didn't. I thought I no. thought I made that motion. Oh, the trees. Too. We did the trees we because we it. decided that was. I, mean, I think we, I thought we, we did, did the no, trees. No, we did not do the trees. We oh, we did. Okay, I'm sorry. We tabled. We didn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, we tabled it, but my intention was to to do the trees because they're on Forest Lake Road. Road. And Maybe that was the conversation. Yeah. So that we can deal with that when we do the apple fund. Yeah. Right. I'll second the motion then. Uh, yeah, it was motion. Any additional discussion? All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Motion passes 4 1. Thank you. Oh, that's just the fold out. Just toss that there. Uh, yeah, rid of this behemoth. We have um, the collector of taxes is looking for us to provide authorization for him to collect property taxes in the amount of five million four hundred forty six thousand one hundred and twenty one dollars make a motion to approve that second okay. all those in favor aye, aye. aye. any opposed none motion carries oh. Um, got to sign every page. <laughs> <laughs> that would be important. Um, we have a uh, request for proposals. The, uh, Margaret is looking to put in the 
uh, Ashwillet, Ashwillet Rail Trail Restoration Project. The grant would be used to repair the wooden South Bridge deck located off of Back Ashwillet Road that goes over the Ashwillet River. Um, the grant is in the amount of $33,000, and so um, she would like to put this out to bid. Um, the proposals will be opened and reviewed. Tonight. Tonight. Okay. There's a bid attached. I see the one bid attached. That's it. Only That's one bid again? Um, just a little reminder. There's a line above your name. You sign the, the line above your name. I'm actually signing under James because James signed where Herb signed, and Herb signed where I was supposed to. Does sign. it really matter if it gets signed? I'd sign it by your name, Teresa. Don't sign under James. Just sign next to your name. I'm glad I go first. I, I guess it does when somebody's looking at it and says, who's my signature is mine. One bit. A single. Uh, and this is from, I'm re if I'm reading this correctly, this is from the Winchester Trail Riders. Um, they submit the bid of 33000 to repair, replace the decking structure, hand railing of the South Bridge. Um, so they bid themselves for the exact amount of money that was allotted. There was... Hmm. Were there... Um, any administrative costs associated with the, sorry, that we know of? Would you like to read the bed? Yes, please. So I guess they intend to do all the work themselves? All right. I guess so. They did the last one up there on the north end themselves. <clears throat> I was going to ask that. Thank you for that history. They, they do a lot of the... They, the they do a lot of their own work. Out there, right. And... How does that work for the grant, though? If the grant is awarded to that club, they can they can provide the, grant the materials was and labor. To that club, the mm -hmm. grant was awarded to the town of Winchester. Oh, okay. Yep. The what town. Is, I'm sorry. What is the address of that repair? Do we know? Or There's no address. address. It's a railroad it's a bridge. bridge. Where is it? It's on Back Ashville. Railroad. It's called the South Bridge. Back Ashville Road. Which probably means Sir a lot more Hamlet. to no. the people who use it. Um, I just because that the bid is a little vague. It just says that they'll call it dig safe. I just want to make sure that's not by any culverts. They don't need to do ways. dig safe. They're just putting new new wood on a bridge. There's no. Yeah, but there's still proper safety protocols that have to be followed, like silt fences and things of that it's nature. Not, it's a railroad bridge. You're going to put silt fence on a railroad if, bridge? If there's wetlands by it, yes. There's a river when underneath it. That's when yeah, you're constructing something. It does need to have the proper. Um, so OSHA standards so and money. everything followed. Uh, it's a liability to the town. Do they carry insurance? Was that included in the bid? Where is the proof of insurance? So, I mean, the bid, the general information outlined that they had to have um, the workers' comp, which is statutory, uh, the automobile up to one million, property damage up to a million, and general liability up to a million. Thank you, Lindsay. That was part of the, yeah. Um, is all the proper, is there anything about licensure? No. That wasn't part of the bid, though. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve it. It does say built to State of New Hampshire specs per Bureau of Trails. I'm sorry, I will second because we're discussing. I didn't mean to skip over that, I was just focused. Um, and the additional description stripped down to lowest beams is needed, remove, reuse boards, beams uh, with lumber pressure treated. There's a motion and a second. Is there any additional discussion? I mean, I, I per, per, honestly would like to see, yes, they have the insurance, but I would like to see, you know, some sort of licensure just because it is a liability of the town. If somebody's hurt, yes, they uh, do have the insurance, but I mean, the town should be performing work that is for the town under licensed contractors. Um, James, would you like your motion to include, to no, ensure appropriate license? No, I mean my license? motion. That's what it's going to include, what I said. Just to appro approve it. The motion's been made and second. Any additional discussion? All those in favor? 
Aye. 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 Any opposed? None I'm an extension here. because there's not enough information. It was there a, there's no signature that's needed on that, correct? No, there's nothing here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So we don't need to sign this? No, there was no signature page. There is a permit to display fireworks. This is for June 11, 9 p.m. at 215 Scotland Road. This has been approved by the Chief of Police, and there is an attached approval. Two permits. Rick Horton is okayed and approved. Motion to approve. I'll second. second. Okay. There's a second. Any additional discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? None. Motion carries. Do I need this for? Oh, okay. There's not another one in here. Which line do I sign here? The line above my your name, name. My name's not on there, so I didn't know. The line above your name. The this is from Carrie and Rick. Just wanting us to know that they are working with Tata, Tata and Howard. Never going to get that on additional funding and forgiveness for the upgrades to the wastewater treatment. Uh, they've got the SAG plus program, which may allow us to receive some additional 10% forgiveness. And so they have attached the agreement, um, New Hampshire DES shared with us with regard to taking in other septic. So do they need this agreement on file before we can move yeah, forward? So, well, it, that's a great idea to have it on file. I mean, the, the process of the grant is not, not due until July 1st. Okay. So we're in the process of, I have a letter drafted to Hinsdale. I have one to Richmond. Um, we, we collect a lot of their septage anyway. Um, so I don't see why they would not want to sign it. And that will just help us in the end with forgiveness. 2% per town. So we need a motion to approve that? Yep. I'll make yep. a motion. Motion to approve from Herb. Second. Yep. Second. Any additional discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? None. Motion carries. This particular one is for Hinsdale. There wasn't a second one, right? No. No, I, it was more of, I was going to go ahead and sign it. I was going to have their town sign it first, and then we'd sign it after, but that's fine. Okay. Sorry, my bad. That's all right. You can still just give them a blank one in the end, I and could. we could sign again. The motion's been there. Um, this is from um, Avatar <coughs> regarding charitable, religious, and educational exemption applications. They have reviewed the Kiwanis, the Arlington Grange, number 139, Southwest Community Service, Winchester Learning Center, the United Church of Winchester, Grace Fellowship, the Roman Catholic Bishop of Manchester, the Winchester Economic Development Corp, Salt and Light. So and all the standard ones we do Those year are after all year. approved. And then there's a final little check. Uh, uh, that was for BFW. The BFW. Yep. Um, all so of those were approved. They were all approved except for, um, like in regards to ELM Center, there's two parcels over there. Yep. Um, Lauren had a question in regards to rent. They don't receive rent from the farmer who, you know, pays or yep. corn or whatever. Um, so it's really up to the board if they continue to have that one lot under exempt status. Okay, so the Elm, it's up to us if map five, lot 109. Nine. Yep. Remains exempt. Correct. Because as in their review, because of the fact that the Elm utilizes some of their property to farm, farm, it might not be exempt. Correct. Because it receiving rent, but right. I confirm with Jim that they do not receive rent. Um, her recommendation is that we do accept this. Um, we do accept it this year because they're they're learning this well after the current use deadline filing. So yeah. this might come into play for them next year now that they've been on notice. So yeah. her recommendation is that we do accept that one. The Winchester Historical Society is the... So there's two lots over there. Last year we donated the second lot, which is... Their parking lot? A parking lot, basically. There used to be a house there. We tax deeded many years ago. We tore down the house and then we kept it for several years. 
and then we donated it to the Historical Society for a parking lot. So this is the first time it's coming up where they own it. Um, and again, it's up to the board if they want to continue exempt. I just want to be clear. So they would exempt lot eight meets with the requirement, but but we would tax the parking, parking lot, lot that we donated to them. Yeah. I just, I just my recommendation would be to the historical society is to do a, a lot merger. And yes. That was lot. Let's make that happen for next year so yes. that we don't have to. That's the plan. I would accept a motion to approve all. I'll make a motion to approve all of those. I'll second. Any additional discussion? Yeah, I'm going to abstain from the vote because I'm a board member over at the Elm Center. Okay. Thank you. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Abstain. One abstention. Yeah. And there's no place to sign. I don't have to sign. No, it's just perfect. Just pass that down for her pile. Um, this is a permit authorizing the sale of raffle tickets. This is for the Red Committee. They are going to be doing a 50-50 every Thursday at Music in the Park. Those are starting June 9th. Okay. I motion. Second to Any additional discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? None. Motion passes. This looks like um, an FYI. This is an FYI. The uh, US EPA has announced that New Hampshire will be receiving $4 million in federal funds to help with assessment and remediation of brownfields around the state to encourage their further development. Grants are going to BRI, BRI Development LLC, to clean up the Sinclair lot in Bethlehem in the amount of 500000 there's uh, environmental services to assess sites in Be uh, Berlin, Derry, and Winchester. We're skipping to the highlighted. Um, and then Southwest Regional Planning Commission is also, looks like they're getting a hunk of that money to divvy out, and they are looking at sites in Hinsdale and Winchester as well. They have about $500,000 to play with. So it's, uh, are these, uh, these are these are grants that would come to us without additional action from us. These are grants that we need to Haven't gotten that far with yeah, what they're they kind of look like they're... for documentation. Okay Well, that is a very interesting bit of information. I'm sure we'll be keeping a close watch on where that money is going to be going Oh my gosh last but certainly not least we had wanted to follow up and review uh, make sure that we're aware of um, these open positions that we're, we have coming up, coming into the summer months. Hopefully people are gonna be looking for change of pace and maybe a new job. Um, we have our land use. Um, there's also a water sewer position open and there's a seasonal cemetery laborer uh, position open. We're also looking for, a, this is a volunteer though, trustees of the trust fund. Um, I think in, we, the water sewer has only been posted for a couple of days, due couple, back on no, June 1st. Weeks. The applications were due this week. Um, I actually did put it back in the paper for this Wednesday, today, in the shopper. I was looking at that, yeah, okay. Um, cemetery. Their applications are due until June 1st. That's the June 1st. Thank you. I was looking at them backwards. That water sewer is a tough, that's a tough one. And we're going to have to, I think, um, I think we're going to have to revisit that a little more seriously with budget needs as well, because I mean, I, I happen to know off the top of my head of a potentially great candidate, but they're really looking for that full-time opportunity and, and, um, you know, so I think that's a conversation that the board's probably going to have to have because, correct me if I'm wrong, that tends to, and, and, and this tends to be the, the case, you know, part-time um, attracts a couple of different kinds of people, people who it works very well for, people who are hoping it turns into something more, and when it doesn't, they move on, and um, uh, people who part-time works well because they like to have a lot of different kinds of part-time jobs so their, ne their availability never becomes more. And that's hard when you're looking for a position such as the water and sewer is looking for where we really only have two full-time. So just have some concerns about that. I've been not noodling it around in my head. I'm sure we all kind of have knowing that it's a, it's a vital position as well. Um, so let's 
keep those in the in the folder so that we're talking about it and thinking about it and um, you said you put it back out and you know if we don't have some viable candidates even by next week <clears throat> um, we are off the week after that on the the first next first week. next week next yeah next week we're off see so I still can't calendar next week we're off so I mean if we don't have any can viable good candidates then certainly by that next week in June, our first meeting in June, we might want to revisit what that looks like in the budget yep. um, to do something different. I know that the conversation had come up between highway and sewer, but that was not looking uh, viable because of a lot of the projects um, that highway is looking to do within their budget. So just something for us to be thinking about because that position can't, we can't go without it for a prolonged period of time at all. Um, I would like to make a motion in reference to those open job positions um, and the motion would be that all of the open job positions get posted on our social media page with the job description so it could be shared out from there. On social media specifically so like the town of Winchester Facebook, Facebook. page. Yeah. Um, I'd like to second that because I, I do think as money boosting as we can of these positions the best. And it's free, correct? At this point, you're not you're not looking to boost. You're just free. Just yeah. Word of mouth sharing. Yeah. yeah. There's been a motion and a second to get these posted out on, on some alternative social media sites. Is there any additional discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Non motion carries. Uh, Carrie, I'll put those out for you if you get them. Yeah, I'll get them to you tomorrow. Was there anything from our department heads? Did you have anything, Carrie? A um, couple of things. Um, Mike, or Mike, oh my God. Mark Tigan, WEDC, uh, emailed me and asked if the board would allow them to put a, um, a sign up on this side, our side of the town hall lawn, front and center, um, in regards to advertising and the, 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 the lots that are for sale down at Stone Mountain. What would the size of the sign be? Uh, he did not give me. Um, Is this on this side of the road, Carrie, or on the other side? Our oh. side. Like in front yeah. of the monument or like where the food festival sign yeah, kind of was. Like yeah. Similar to, it looks like the food fest sign. Okay. So okay. that was like, I think, what, two by? Not four permanent. Three. That was a four no, by no, three. No, 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 just, four just by to three. try to get some action. Yeah. Not permanently. Motion I would to approve. Can I can I um, make a friendly amendment to your motion? No larger than four feet by three feet. I'm sorry. What size? No, lar no larger four than three. what? Four, four by three. Four by three. Yeah. Four by three. And that's what the foods. Food that's what is. the food. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And are you going to second that, Nat? Sure. And yeah. there's a second. Any additional discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? None. Motion carries. Update on um, the back ash wheel it, uh, paving project. The last little portion of that was finished last week um, on 6 7, which is a Tuesday from 8 to 12. The section from 245 to 310 back ash wheel it will be shut down for some tree work that needs to be um, trees need to be cut down with a crane. So there's going to be a portion of the road shut down for a little while. What time was that again? Uh, 8 to 12 on 6 7. Elm Street Bridge tomorrow, um, the state's coming in to do an inspection. The Green Bridge right here. Mm. Um, I thought they posted any that updates on, on a Facebook time? page that said the 28th. 8.30 and typically it's about an hour. I think on the social media page they said that about the close the Elm Street Bridge, but. We I, didn't I, have a time. It just. I thought know. it said the 28th though. 26 I posted it so should say the 26 okay. I said Thursday I know I put Thursday in it um, that, that, that. I'm good that's all I have oh oops, sorry nope town beach lifeguards mm. we have five guards coming in um, they will open for Sunday Monday this weekend for the holiday weekend 830 to 7 
Uh, they plan on doing swim lessons. Uh, it's a seven week program, uh, Monday through Thursday, nine yeah. to 11. And when are they- that start? Sorry, sorry, Lynn. Sunday. I don't, Sunday. I don't have a start date. It just says um, nine to 11, Monday through Thursday. I don't have a start date on For the, the swim week. lessons, okay, yeah. thank you. Can we post that on social media? Because I know that there was some two comments that were asking about when the um, beach was going to be open. It will be open this Sunday and Monday. This Sunday and Monday, so you can post And that. then once school is out. With lifeguards. Yeah. With lifeguards. Yep. Um, and then once school is out, it'll be, you know, seven days a week. I have uh, one question for Dale. Oh, hang on just a second, Herb. Okay. Um, Carrie, did you have anything else? No, that's Do it. you know if the swim lessons are going to be free? I'm assuming yes. I think they so. have been free right along. Yes. So yes, awesome. they were free two years ago. Yeah, so. I know. Yeah. I just want to make sure they still yeah. are. Yeah. All right. Sorry, Herb. Go ahead. Hey, Dale, on this pavement of the back Ashford Road, Road now, is that done, or should we be looking at something else down in there? Because I don't, we went down there today, and it still looks pretty wet down under there, where they just <laughs> finished. So it, it's going to need a, you know, the one inch cap to really seal it in tight. Um, you know, if, if it don't get done this year, it'll have to be done next year. Will that last through the winter with yeah. that much water oh, under sure. there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Say that, we were able to have some harbor funds or whatever now, how much would that cost to put it up now before the winter time? 100000 do that whole section again do a, to do the do whole an thing. cap over the whole thing. And then we wouldn't have to worry about it no more. It'd be good for a lot of years. Okay. Right. So it's possible that we could do that in the fall. Yes. If no. we had money left over from the Apple fund. Yep. That's half of what we're gonna get pretty much. But, but well, it's a quarter, just, but it's a, but it's like well, half of what's left of yeah. what we've already dispersed. Yeah, I mean I had an estimate for my from what I from what we had voted on before, but then you guys voted when I wasn't here for fifteen thousand for the um, economic relief fund, which is great because I would actually would have done twenty five, but I'm okay with fifteen. So the bottom line I had was I think and don't quote me a hundred percent was two hundred and seventeen thousand and some change left. Left. So it's possible that we could take APA funds to finish that project. That's what I was thinking. And also, I was reading the state next year, they've got money left over, and they're thinking about the highway block grants, putting some of that more money into that. So I'm not, that isn't in black and white yet, but yeah. I was reading with it. They're I'd talking like to be able to do more than one road a year. Yeah. Yeah. We it would be nice it. if we got some more block grant money so we could do more than one road a year, right? Oh, yeah. that's absolutely. I believe that part of the infrastructure funds yes. that will be coming in also go towards roads and bridges. Yeah. So rather than using all the opera funds right away, we should wait for that to come in. Do we, we have a time do. frame on when we should hear more about that? Oh, oh, no. We, should, yeah. we really need to do that because we utilize almost all, if not all, the block grant money for Back Ash Willett Road. We did. Yeah, we did, yes. all of it. All of it. We so did. for one road, and I'm not one, complaining one about and, it. And it's not even a full road. we need other roads done. We need Old Buffett Road done. We need Chesterfield Road done. We need more, 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 more than one road a year to get done. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah those infrastructure road. funds, I mean, in my opinion, if that one's going to hold up, Dell said till next, you know, next, next spring, I'm thinking the infrastructure funds will be in by then, so we could use the infrastructure funds to finish that road as well as do other roads. And, and then we could use the, the rest of the, the ARPA funds for other things like the, the rest of the stuff we talked about with the chief that he wanted to try and implement. Well, that's something that I'd have to think about because I don't want to go through a winter and have that road damaged now that we spent so much money on right. it right now. That's what I was thinking down there. But I just want to, um, just to play a little devil's advocate, if we didn't have the ARPA funds, we'd be already doing that, correct? I mean, because we, 
we were already in the position where we were probably waiting until next year to finish that one inch. If, yeah, if, if we had to. Yeah. If, if we had to. You know, it'll survive the winter, um, sure. Um, but the, the sooner the better okay. to really cap it up and give it the strength that it needs. Well, you're up Thank there. You, the, the crosswalks and all the line painting looks really good. Yeah, it does. Yes, Thank, Thank you. you. Yep. yep. Thank you. Done a nice, done a nice job. We had yep. a little hiccup with our machine today, but we got it straightened out. Um, I won't point. I won't point out a couple of little flaws unless you see them yourself. But <laughs> it was machine failure. <laughs> was it? A, was it a line failure? Was there maybe a bloop bloop that happened? It did that on its own. Uh, <laughs> no it. operator error involved. <laughs> no. Um, you know, we, we had to uh, go buy some uh, some black paint to cover up some of them, but um, the uh, we were paying twelve, thirteen dollars a, a, a gallon for paint a year ago, and it's thirty one dollars a gallon now. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know, same with everything. Yeah. You know, we our black top last year we were paying sixty four dollars at the plant. It's eighty eight, eighty nine dollars this year. You know, so that cuts way down on what we can do. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Dale. Thank Great. you, Dale. Thank right. you. Carrie, you were all set. I'm all set. Sounds like Dale's all set. Anything else? Rick, did you have anything? Yeah, I'll make it short, but I, I just want to make the board aware of I'm, I'm trying to one of our influent pumps is is getting close to 50,000 hours on it. Um, this is kind of a large ticket item, obviously, for the wastewater plants, the main pump. It's the one that's 30 feet in the ground, lifts the water up hydraulically to the top of the plant. Um, I spoke to Carrie today. I've been talking to the salesman. Um, I can tell you right now, a new pump is 28,000. Um, it's a flight pump. It's made in Sweden, so it's not something available overnight. Usually takes eight weeks to get it. Typically, it was eight weeks to have it shipped over here. Um, flying was four weeks, so I, I don't even know what that scenario is. But um, I would like to work on take, pulling that pump and shipping it down to Connecticut and have a service performed on it. And we ha I have some pricing, so I'm, I'm coming close to the end of the budget, but there might be funds there to make this happen, so I just want to board to be semi aware that I might try to make this happen with the budget. It's not it's it's a plan it's a plan project. I'm watching the hours all the time. That these pumps are supposed to have seals and bearings replaced after fifty thousand hours. But um also the, the we're seeing more rags and it's a little bit of vibration from it. It's been it's done a lot of work since two thousand fourteen. So I just wanna let you know that I will hopefully be able to put something together. We'll just see how this how the budget pans out. Other than that I would let, let you know that we've been working on grease rat trap inspections the last two months. Um, fortunately, for the lap, because of I just want the manpower, the wastewater doesn't, or the water to perform these quarterly, so um, missed the whole year. So we've, we've, we've been struggling. Um, a lot of grease traps haven't been, been, haven't been cleaned. Uh, maintenance logs aren't filled out. So um, I'll try to get the board a report when I can finalize everyone's in compliance. But um, again, it's we just we talk about you know having a, another person here, whether it's shared with the highway, or what highway, or whatever. Um, I don't want to inundate the board with too much information. But this, I can certainly prove the man hours that that this person would be taking place of you know whether it's septage receiving. I've been there myself alone today. We received. You know, over you know several thousand gallons septage, just one one wrong load. We're running this the centrifuge that can shut the whole process down. It's pretty difficult for one person to try to you know yeah. run a plant, you know, monitor phone calls, make plans on the next project moving forward. Um, so, just want to let you know that's something that needs to be done. A grease trap inspection. We just we have an exorbitant amount of grease all the time it's just a, it's a maintenance issue it's a problem um, we have it on our beaches on the clarifiers it causes overflows obviously centrifuge performance just grease is a problem so i just want to let everyone know that by us not being out there and, and, and making ourselves present it causes it causes a problem people get lackadaisical they they just don't follow through with 
what they know they need to do with, with grease and oil and fats. Um, I do, I would like the board to know that it looks like we'll be able to start the Manning Hill, uh, the Manning Hill water main improvement project right after the 4th of July. Um, we will have the stormwater prevention um, plan in place before anything happens, Natalie. I've already talked to all train and DS. They said we don't need a permit, but we will be, we're gonna uh, directional drill through that cranberry bog underneath it. That's always a gray area for, for this type of project, but both sides of, of, the, of the bog, we will make sure silt fence um, models um, are put there. The trench will be closed up. It will be a one-day process, and we'll, we'll make sure it's all stabilized so there's no erosion can cr be created into that wetlands during that area. And when we're all done, we'll put some upland seed mix in there and some straw without any plastic in it down there, so it's good for the environment. So I want everyone to know that we'll be good with that. Um, I'm just waiting on, on the excavation permit from DOT District 4 that's been in place for for some time, but I have not received it, but I have talked to the the person that, that approves them and he has it on his desk and we should see that within another another week or two. And I will do the dig safe, obviously when we get a little bit closer and the, the certificate of insurance for the contractor will be in place. That's, Thank you, Rick. That's all I have to Rick, Thank I you. did have one question for you. You had mentioned that the machinery, um, you know, after a certain amount of hours, bushings and things need to be replaced. Yep. How many pieces of machinery require that maintenance? Did, you don't have to tell me right now, but I was just curious if there was some way for us to budget for that maintenance in the future. Well, I try, I try to, well, actually this, this, this project, this particular piece of equipment, we, the board approved us to buy a new pump two years ago. So I started planning this two years ago. So I do have a brand new pump that we're gonna be installing. I was hoping to do it today, but we had, Someone was sick today, so that didn't happen. But as soon as we, I plan on doing that next Wednesday, we'll put that new pump in. We'll ship the old pump out. Fortunately, I still do have a seal, seal and bearing kit, so they will be able to use that. That's going to save us a few thousand dollars. So once they look at this, you know, the stator and the motor, which I, I think the motor and all that stuff will be good. It's the impeller and the wear plate that's we're probably going to have the issue with. And they're, they're pretty expensive items. So um, again, the, the the labor part is pretty much set. In, that's a set thing. Carrie approved that for me. That was within her, within her, within her um, authority. So, and they'll come and they'll pick the pump up for free, and they'll bring it back to us for free. So, you know, again, some of this stuff we don't have all the programs that we, you know, we don't have a, a real maintenance program that spits out how many hours all this stuff needs to be serviced. I'm pretty much doing it by, you know, the blowers got to be serviced once a year, sludge pumps get once a year. Um, obviously, the, the, the crucial things, such as the inflow pumps, the most important pump in that plan, I'm watching the, the hours on it, because to me, it's a conscious thing mm -hmm. that I'm always aware of. When I came to that plant, we had one crane um, solids handling pump running. The other pump was disabled when we had a, a, um, a private contractor running the plant. So I just can tell you that and they had a VFD on it that didn't work either. So the plant was running with one inflow pump that ever went down. I don't think that would have looked good on them. Yeah, there was would have been a messy situation. But yeah. Again, that's that's probably the most critical piece of equipment there. Obviously, all the other stuff like the centrifuge, we watch the hours and the vibration and bearing temperatures, septage receiving, you know, that's that's supposed to be a. Would it be beneficial change. to come up with some sort of maintenance plan? For we need. There would be beneficial. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, absolutely. We should. Some plants have this. What happens is they they run off that whatever you know whatever program you have there's there's there are some out there they are they are priced some of them but you mm -hmm. know you can put all your what the what the manufacturer's requirements for for you know overhauling or right, right through maintenance okay. and then it would spit it out on a monthly basis so the guys would get a you know okay this is what you <laughs> this is what you need to service this month or again we do monthly everything gets greased every month natalie once a year everything gets taken out of service and gets, you know, like the sludge pump that runs every day, they, they get a, a rebuild, stuff like that. That's typical, so, okay. I mean, we're just doing it. We're, we're not even following the manufacturers. We're doing it regardless once a year. So okay. we know the, what's out of service is ready to go then if something goes wrong with, with what's in service. Okay, thank you, but, Rick. Thank you. Thank you. Anything from the board? I have one suggestion. Last week during the public uh, hearing, we took up 
anon a comment from an anonymous person on the computer. Um, and one resident, you know, spoke up and said when they come to the microphone, they have to state their name and address. So I don't think in the future that that should be allowed anymore. I, I agree. I actually, uh, during the public comment, uh, during the public hearing, I, I think I said that I agree. It's a public hearing. You, you need to be here to state your name. Um, you can send an email if you don't want to be here, but you, you have to. We as the board have a right to see who's speaking um, so that we can appropriately represent. Yes, so I, I agree. You know, and I 100 percent agree as well. Um, the reason that I referenced that email that was sent to me and I kept it anonymous um, was because it was asked of me yeah. how many people confronted me. So that's why I referenced that email. Um, anything else, James? No. I just had a couple of things coming out of the Red Committee. I just want everyone to know that beginning on Thursday, June 9th, um, 6 p.m., Music in the Park is back. Um, we have a full lineup starting with Walk-In, Antiques, Steel Rail, the Natural Concert Band's back. Um, the Jacksonville Blues Band, Life on Venus, um, just a bunch all the way through August 25th. So that is, they're free. They happen on Thursdays, beginning June 9th, um, 6 p.m. Uh, they do a 50-50. can bring a snack and listen to the music. Um, and this year, we are going to be doing a, uh, if it rains, we'll be in the town hall. Um, so we had bounced that idea. We confirmed that the only um, committee that we, that might impact could be conservation, but that's only if it rains on the third Thursday of the month. Um, it could conflict with ZBA, which is the second Thursday. Okay. Possibly. They don't always meet every month, so. Okay. Um, we're hoping that we can say rain or shine. Um, so conservation would be happy to go downstairs. So go down, yeah, and maybe I can re maybe we can reach out to ZBA and just ask if it happens, could you be downstairs that one time? Uh, Jason, and I had this conversation. Oh, I think it's going to be hard to hold a meeting down below right here where music is blasting. I really mm -hmm. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it, <laughs> honestly. Okay, it's going to be awful loud. Um. Well, we're going to hope that it does not rain right. on the occasional second Thursday that ZBA yes. meets and the third Thursday that we're just going to we're just going to hope for the best weather every Thursday. Um, I did want to also let people know that dinner on the bridge is still a happening plan that the Red Committee is putting together. Um, dates and details still pending. Um, so I'll be updating there uh, and that is all I had nothing else from the board I have three things yep um, I was wondering if we it looks like we only received one fireworks permit um, so not typically you put it on the town website right to notify the abutters so yep. just ask that we also put that on social media that there was a permit for this um, establishment and so that way the abutters could be aware I think also, um, I think, I don't know if it's always Tracy Pelkey, but for the, for the fire warden, I think that she does an update and provides a, boosts that list that you set out, no? I, I you, don't know that, but I put it on the website and yes. I gave it to the chief, both chiefs, fire and police. So Maybe it comes off the fire department, I'm mm -hmm. thinking. I know we only could, signed the one permit, so that's, yeah. that's pretty much easy to do right now. I'm sorry, what was that? We only signed one permit, so it's pretty well, easy. Well, I have, to do. we have one from last week, too. Okay. So, so I have a, I have an Excel sheet. I put all the information and I post it. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty easy right now. Wait until the week before the, two weeks before the 4th of July, and we right. sit here and do like 22 of them. Well, get them for 15 <laughs> days before. <laughs> That's yeah. when they all come at one time. Right. Yes. <laughs> you have um, else, Matt? The next thing was, Carrie, should I talk about? What the conservation commission talked about now or save that for non-public i think that's a non-public even though we talked about it in public to be did we talk about it in public last week it was in the yeah it was in yeah the, then okay so um last week we asked um it be brought to the conservation commission for the antenna that was being put up at the top 
Um, the Conservation Commission unanimously voted to not accept that. Um, there is a right of way from the forestry division on that plot of land. Um, they would have to, the, the company would have to then donate a plot of land elsewhere to conservation. Um, but we did come up with a maybe alternative solution to this, which would be there is money right now, um, just like there was for broadband. There is also for um, cell phone towers. So the idea would be that we form another committee um, to explore taking down our current cell phone tower outside of figuring out what's inside our current contract with that company, building our own, and then in lieu of the small lease payment we get now, we would be able to charge companies to use our tower to increase um, profits for that tower in lieu of a small lease payment. Um, because there is money out there for us to do that. Similar to broadband? Similar to broadband. Mm -hmm. Is it all part of the same basic yes. infrastructure? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was just um, just a little note from the Conservation Commission on that. I want to noodle that one. Was there anything else? Um, this request for qualification, the RFQ. For the solar for the landfill, correct? Bill, correct? Right. So this is just a draft. Um, this was on our agenda, but we skipped over it. Uh, I so, was just actually, I was doing the checklist and I literally just circled it. It's okay. So I drafted an RFQ. The reason this is a request for qualification and not a request for proposal is because we currently do not have a committee to um, put any work into actually finding our viable pieces of land and coming up with all the necessary things that go along with a request for proposal. So, um, and the, the main goal of this RFQ, I'm not going to read the whole thing, is to offset the town's tax burden and um, also to be able to run three-phase power to our transfer station. Um, the um, RFQ, after we figure out what companies would like to do the RFQ, um, they will be, have to provide us with certain things like a profile of their firm, um, who on, who's on their project team, um, any related experiences that they have, and references from past projects that they've done. Um, after that, we after they submit an RFQ, then we would be able to give them access to town lands in order to figure out the most viable options for um, solar fields. Um, and they would have to do that at their own cost. They did include that at the end, and no cost would be incurred to the town of Winchester. So that's just a basic rundown of the request for qualification. And um, I did um, note that it would be, we, they would have till July 4th if we set this out now. If not, obviously we would extend that time frame. Yeah, just a little bit. I'd actually like to change it to the 5th because the 4th were closed. Okay. Let's do the 5th. Um, I'd like an opportunity to review it. Sure. And, but I'd like us to review, have any questions ready and make a decision at our next regular meeting, which is in two weeks. So be ready to move. So that might bump it out like a August. How long do they get for the a month? A month. Well, so that's two weeks and that'll be June, July, like 18th. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have a chance to it's okay. read it in full, so it's I'd okay. like a chance to read it. Was there anything else from the board? Public comment. Oh, I'm sorry, Sherry. You was it a public comment or I saw the wave, the, the, or was it a, a, a okay? Just from my own understanding, I realize it passed. Um, those who voted against the mausoleum, and I did have the two bids. So, can you just tell me why you voted that way? I just, be, we talked about this before with, you know, partially with the ARPA funds about how it's not, it doesn't belong to the town. So I just, I just don't feel we should be spending town money on, on something that doesn't belong to the town. That's my feeling. Okay. Pretty much that's my feeling also, but there's only two people or two caskets that are out there and they're over a hundred years old. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we should be spending town money to do that. Right. So just so 
I realize it's a done thing, but just so you okay. understand a little better, the 1998 ruling made us responsible for all of those lots and headstones. Um, and I feel that we're partially responsible at the cemetery because cemetery staff painted the brick. You can't do that. It will deteriorate the brick. It locks the moisture in, which causes the deterioration, and that's what happened. It was unknowing, unwittingly, but I still feel that it puts more responsibility on the cemetery to right the wrong. Thank you. Thank you. I think finding the two people that own the families that own that and removing that is the way to go. We we've looked and I don't know where else. There's to gotta look. be something that we can respectfully bury that those those the individuals that are there as opposed to spending thirty one thousand dollars to have a museum mausoleum that people don't really use. Right. I like the idea of fixing it up and, and having it there because, like you said, it you know it add, does you know add the it's, but an it's just you know it's again, a lot of money. To, it's a lot of It's a lot of money. I'm sure it would be a lot of money to. We can't get our equipment up there even, and we aren't capable of lifting all of that. So we'd have to have, we'd have to hire someone to come in, and we can't even get up there to do anything on that building. So yeah. I think it would be a pretty extensive amount of money to do that. Because then you've got no, to, you've got to jackhammer up all the foundation that's already there. And... I'm all just right. really quick looked up um, some laws on removing or relocating um, deceased people and there's That's why this electronic to, device have policy have should have been left in place. I think it's helpful to have some. There's a lot of rules and laws on yeah. moving it. Yeah. Thank you, Sherry. There are. Yeah. Thank you. Public comment? The hell are you lost? <laughs> ben Klansky, 60 Mechanic Street. A um, couple things. First, I would like to ask you guys to please reconsider your motion on and I support the Economic Development Corporation in Stone Mountain 100%, but I'd like to see the sign on the town property on the other side of the intersection with, all, with the Kelowna sign and everything else. We're getting into, starting this weekend, with Memorial Day as tourist season. Um, a yeah. lot of people comment every year on how beautiful the town hall is, the, the monument, the grass, everything's kept very well. And I just think having a sign in the middle of all that could just just look distracting and maybe, I don't want to say make it ugly, but take away from the view. So I'd like to see possibly maybe just ask them to put the sign on the town land on the other side of 119 well, on the corner. Well, it could be a visibility issue too. I mean, I guess if somebody, you know, turning up Richmond Street or, I mean, I don't, I don't think that one's a big but it's not that large either. Three by four is on. I just side. think it's going to take away from the beauty of the, the property that we already have. Um, so I, that would be my one request from the board is to, if you want to, please revisit and change that. Otherwise, move on. Um, next, I actually had a question for Kerry, just for clarification. Um, the cell phone tower that's currently up there on the hill, um, who owns the right of way? for the access road in the, in the land that's sitting on right now? The town manages that, but the forestry has the full say. Conservation right. manages, owns the property and manages it. Right. Yeah. There, there was an easement. There is an the easement forestry. in place. I, I don't know who has the easement. I'm assuming it's the forestry. It's the forestry association. I think it's the forestry has the easement. For the access road and the land that the tower is on? Um, yeah, I, I have to read the read the deed or read right. the card. Okay. I don't know that off the top of my head. Okay. Yeah, I'd be interested to know that. Um, last thing I have real quick is the library next door is still owned by the town, right? Yep. The building, the not building. the not the books. I know yep. the books are owned yep. by the library. Building is the town. 
Um, I was just curious because we've had a, a couple of town residents that have been working on cleaning up the antiques and upstairs in the museum and they did a lot of work back when the water damage happened to help get that all up and running again and recently all the door locks were changed on the building and now the two residents that have been working on cleaning up the town antiques can't access it to work on them and are having a hard time getting access so i weren't sure because it's town building and they're town antiques if there's anything the town can do to help these residents yeah, give the people a key I, I, I wonder if was there a problem? They, they had a key before. The library has a board, right. so perhaps there's an opportunity to follow up with that board and find out why the, you know, if, if they have a, a reason for the locks and well, the change town, and or. If it's a town building, shouldn't they have asked to, to change, change the locks? Yeah. I, I think that kind of goes along with yeah. following up with the board and finding out. Well, that was. I just wanted to bring it up so that everybody was aware of it, so that yeah. maybe somebody could research it to maybe Here help. You can find out information for us and let us know why they changed the locks and two people that have already been working up there and had a key don't have a key now. It's a town building. Did they have keys? They so have. They working. have the old keys, but the old keys. they don't work yes, no more. I just had a, if they're volunteers and they have keys, are they? Do they sign those keys out? Is there a that's the way it was done years ago? Yeah. So they. So I don't know if they ever signed a key out. Right. <clears throat> so maybe there's some updated policy that the library is trying to do. We just find out to why find some follow up. Keys. Yeah. Why the two people don't have keys? Yeah. It could be yeah. simple. Something simple as give them keys. Right. Yeah. No. I. I just wanted to make the board aware, just so. Maybe it'll help speed up the process so they can get back to work on cleaning that stuff up. Um, and the third, the last thing I had real quick is I just wanted to um, let you guys know that in the years past, every time the snowmobile club has come in and talked about um, their grants that they received to do work on trails, rail trails, um, they they follow they have to follow all the same rules and regulations as anybody else and permitting and they've always been great about making sure they go through the permit process and reporting everything through des and making sure that everything is covered through des as far as wetland mitigation and anything else that would be them plus since the rail trails are owned by the state and the snowmobile club just has the permission to use them um they they have to they have to stay in communication with the state anyway with any work they're doing on any of the rail trails and the state obviously is also des so they're gonna know so i have full confidence in the snowmobile club doing the work on the bridge that's it thank you thank you thank you, thank you. i'd like to make can oh. we revisit that sign thing making a motion to reconsider sure. yeah hang on a second can we let's oh. finish with our public comment oh okay Thank you, Madam Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, I, as a trustee of the trust funds, I just want to opine on something. Um, the 432 some odd individuals that had bequeathed in their wills trusts um, for the town of Winchester for the perpetual care of their cemetery plot, mm -hmm. um, that money has ballooned to one million one hundred and eighty some odd thousand dollars. So I don't think morally it's correct to think that we should dig them up and throw them in a landfill. Okay, the money is there, that's what the perpetual care trust fund is for. Okay, the excess of seven thousand dollars of income from that is moved into the holding tank of the expendable care fund. So these people have bequeathed um, back in the day a substantial amount of money that makes up that one million one hundred eighty thousand dollars so the money is there and it's for that purpose I don't um, in, in doing the archival work of researching all of those 432 people over the past couple of years there are some people that have moved out of town um, that are actually laid to rest up north that didn't belong in that list. They're no longer here, they're no longer a resident. They moved out before they had passed. 
but the balance of these people, the people that we could find um, after the disastrous flood downstairs, um, researching that, going through the registry of deeds, finding all of this information, these people have contributed. It's not like they're just fly-by-nighters that blew into town, passed away here, and now they're expecting the town to pick up the expense. It is part and parcel of the perpetual care fund. I just want to let you thank you. Know that. Thank you okay, thank you. Thank you, Any other public comments? Or have you wanted to make a motion to revisit? Yes. I'll second. There's a motion to revisit and a second, and the conversation was the approval of the sign on the front lawn from the WEDC. Um, all those in favor? Hang on for a oh, second. Oh. I'd like to see if we can compromise the situation and during the holiday weekend, have it on the corner side, and then after that, if they want to come to this side, so it's a compromise. Ben made a good point. He's still letting the sign come in. So during the ho this, this upcoming holiday weekend, say until Tuesday, have it on right by near the Kiwanis. And then after that, if they want to move it over to this side, let's do it that way. Sure. So, so, we'll, like that. Is, so we'll make a motion to let's reconsider. And um, then we'll vote on reconsidering and then make a new motion. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, there's a motion to reconsider. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? None. So we now are reconsidering the original motion. It sounds like there's a new motion to include some stipulations just about the, the holiday. I hate to be a pain in the butt, but I would say weekends because, you know, the, the 4th of July would be another weekend where maybe we don't want it right on the... I mean, is that making it too complicated? I think it's making it complicated. Let's try it this way, that if just for this coming weekend until Tuesday, it could stay over by the Kiwanis, and then after that it could be over here on this side. Yep. And then we have a month to look at it to see if we need to make a motion to tell them to move it on July 4th, but we don't have to do that now. And if it's, um, you know, perhaps their placement could also be a little more less on center right. um, exactly. because the, the food festival was something yeah. that was, you know, yeah. specifically promoting um, I think that, that town event for a short period of time. It's a good compromise, right. in my opinion. I don't know if... Teresa, is that your motion? That it... Uh... And I'll second. Yeah, that. okay. And there's a second. Is there any additional discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? None. Motion carries. We've done public comment, we've done everything else, and now we have some non-public. Very quickly, I was thinking about this when Rick was talking about um, asset management or mechanical management. Would any of that kind of reporting fall under uh, the, the program that Amy had brought forward. Amy and I were requesting. Um, yeah. Possibly. I'd have to dig That's a little bit deeper into that, yeah, but the, yes. Yeah, the, um, the, the I mean, it, asset it does management tracking. On, it does maintenance on vehicles, so there's no reason why it couldn't do Why it wouldn't. Yeah, so there might be an opportunity there. All right, we need to do some non-public. <coughs> I think I saw some A. Yeah, it's going to be A. Was a C. B. E I E I O. And E. Yeah. I think that's it. Is there a motion to enter into non public RSA 91A3 ABE? I'll make a motion to enter non public on the. All of those? All that. The alphabet yeah. soup? Yeah. I'll second. Okay. It. Roll call, Teresa. Aye. Natalie. Aye. Her, uh, Herb. <laughs> James. Aye. Lindsay, aye. aye. Herb said yes. Yes. We are in non-public. Herb, are you in agreement with non-public? Yes. Yes. We are now in non-public. <laughs> I got to see. Oh, I got to stretch. You want me to go get the...